Lovely Magazine readers, my name is Cassie, as always, and I'm here with two special guests. Um, I'm really excited to talk to them. I got Missy Cheshire from the Clerk of Council, and then I got Ray Kingsbury from Loveland. Uh, he's a Loveland U director. Um, what else do you do, Ray? Uh, let's see. I do a number of consulting pieces, mm -hmm. uh, primarily with local governments. Okay. I did a similar uh, project for uh, Montgomery that's now been going on for about 12 years. Okay, and obviously you guys wanna know what that project is. We are here to talk about Loveland U. Um, I actually got the pamphlet recently and the application and I was like, what is this? And just became really interested in the concept behind it. Um, and I just, I really want the community to know about it. So who thought of the idea of Loveland U and why bring it to Loveland? Is, is this a concept that's been used before? And either one of you, feel free to tag team. I'll let Mr. take that <laughs> yeah. one. Well, we did, we did come up with a, a name and the, the program is um, Loveland U. We modeled it after a program that's being done in the city of Montgomery that Ray has been okay. leading for 13 years. So um, the mayors got together at a luncheon and were sharing ideas and talking about things going on in their cities. And it just sparked interest with our mayor, Kathy Bailey. And so we, we contacted Ray to see what he could do for Loveland to help us get a program started. Awesome. And so what were those steps? Tell us about the steps. Was it hard to get this up and running? Uh, thankfully, we had the model okay. from Montgomery. Uh, obviously, we made it very much um, unique to Loveland itself. Okay. Uh, really, the purpose behind it is uh, research kind of tells us that healthy communities are those that are most connected. Okay. So, uh, in these days and times, research also tells us that we don't know 50% of our neighbors. Mm. So, how do we get connected? How do we get connected? And um, that's kind of the purpose and how do we get engaged in the community? And that's really the purpose behind Loveland U. Okay, gotcha. So, to put it into maybe one sentence so people can think what the, what the concept, what is Loveland U? If you were just this, if somebody came up to you right now, excuse me, Ray, what is Loveland U? What would you say, you know, to make it more simpler? I only get one sentence? Uh, maybe I'll give you two. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, maybe I'll take two. The uh, Loveland U is a series of uh, 10 workshops. Mm -hmm that is a look behind the scenes of the Montgomery community. We've added a number of uh, partners in there to help us with uh, the look behind the, uh, behind the community. The places like the Loveland Schools, mm -hmm. places like uh, the Little Miami Conservancy is oh, yeah. gonna do a workshop. Uh, the Loveland Stage Company, the Loveland Museum Center, so there's a whole variety of folks that are kind of coming together to create Loveland U. Okay, that makes sense. Misty, what would you say your biggest part in this is? What, what do you want to add to the Loveland U experience? Sure. So um, I want to make it more than just a civic program. So we will have civic elements. We'll have a session run by our public works department, our... Um, finance department, our police, our fire, we'll do a mock city council meeting. So we'll cover those pieces of civics and get let people see what we do every day. But I think adding our partners and reaching out to other areas of the community gives us the entire picture of the community. So I think tying all that together is really important and really represents what, what Loveland is. I agree. Now, if I was to come up to you and say, why should I do it? What would, you, what would you say to convince me as a 30-year-old, you know, different generation, you know how we are, we're just, woo, you know, why would I go for 10 sessions and sit down, you know, what, why would I go? Absolutely. It, um, it's your opportunity to see what's going on in the community. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you how important it is that we get a younger element in there. I agree. Um, we need young folks, millennials, mm -hmm. and, and others to become involved, and we're trying to get as diverse a group as possible. It'll be limited to uh, between 25 and 30, just so we make the experience uh, meaningful. But um, I think it's really important this inaugural class get some of the best and brightest of uh, Loveland. That's well put, I love that, because I myself, I want to be more 
and I try to be active in the community, but I try to convince others to be more active in the community. I work with a lot of people way younger than me, like I'm talking 18, 19, you know, and it's hard to get them to really commit to making a difference. So I guess in saying that, tell us what one of those workshops would kind of be like. So maybe you said the, con the concert conservatory is going to be one of them? The uh, Little Miami Conservancy. Okay. Uh, first, of all, first of all, the, um, the, the philosophy uh, behind the workshops is adult learning techniques. Okay. Typically, younger learners are, typical, are typically uh, knowledgeable about a more traditional academic uh, where a teacher stands up in front and we sit in rows and, and you know, he or she tells us something and we regurgitate it back. Well, young people, uh, youth, are uh, kind of visual learners and auditory learners, mm -hmm. but really adults are participatory learners. Okay. So all these workshops will be highly non-lecture and highly hands-on. Mm. To give you a, a, an example of the Conservancy, uh, we're going to talk about um, development and also preservation and how those kind of work together. But also we're going to float down the little uh, Miami River and also uh, they're going to lead us in the testing of the river. That's we're awesome. going to have test kits and we're going to find out how clean is that water really. Yikes. Hopefully clean. <laughs> We'll see. I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> no, no, I, I know. I agree. Um, and then a big thing that I that I really wanted to ask you guys is I want people to kind of know what's your background? What do you do in your free time? What what do you do on the side? Um, I spend most of my time, uh, oh, I'm an employee of the city of Loveland. Correct. So I've been there for um, almost 10 and a half years. I uh, work for the city manager's office as well as city council. So, um, that keeps me pretty busy. Oh, I'm yeah. also uh, responsible for several committees. Um, so that, I have two kids in college, so that keeps me hopping too, but um, a lot of time around city events and oh, city yeah. organizations. So. Yeah, I just want the community to know who yeah. you guys are, because sure. I feel like you guys are really big, really big in this community and trying to make a difference. And when this gets up and running, I feel like you're gonna get really out there, so be ready. <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? Yeah, I actually, um, I've been 40 years in uh, nonprofits and local government. Okay. And the nonprofits range everything from uh, history, historic interpretation, to aging, to the arts. Wow. So it's been a wide range of different things. I also ran a regional planning commission at one point in time. Uh, but in my spare time, uh, we're kind of outdoors folks. Nice. Uh, empty nesters, outdoors folks. Uh, we do a lot of national parks. Mm -hmm. uh, we still tent camp. Uh, so it's really an outdoors kind of physical kind of thing. That's what Loveland is, right? It's With awesome. the bike trail it's and awesome. everything. It's beautiful. Yeah. I agree. Beautiful. I agree. Now let's circle back around to Loveland U. Um, how can people get involved with this? How can they sign up for the class? I obviously know, but I want you guys to tell sure. everyone. Um, I know there's an application. What all is involved? How can they find the information? How can they get their hands on that application and whatnot? Sure. Um, our application is on the city website, uh, lovelandoh.gov. You can go there, fill out the application, and submit it online. We also have um, paper applications floating around town, also at City Hall. So you could submit those by mail or drop them off at City Hall. Um, what else? Right? Uh, <laughs> That's okay. uh, deadline for application yeah, deadline. is yeah. uh, July 31st. July 31st. Okay. Uh, the sessions start in the middle of September okay. and run through the middle of November. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten sessions, three hours each. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, in Montgomery, um, there's a real uh, uh, feeling for that inaugural class. You know, people yeah. who say that they, they, they're so proud that they were in, in, in the ground level of something that's really been transformational right. in the city of Montgomery. So we encourage people to um, sign up. I love that. Apply. 
apply, apply now. Um, so the last thing I really want to touch on, and I ask everybody this because it's just really fun to learn about, you know, people like you guys that have been in the community for a while. Um, what is your favorite part about Loveland? It could be a spot, it could be a patch of grass, anything. So whoever wants to start, what, what do you love the most about Loveland? I'm going to say the people. Oh, yeah. Um, the business owners are wonderful. The residents are wonderful. Everyone that I come in contact with, so friendly, uh, generous of their time, um, just generally good people in Loveland. Do you have a favorite spot, restaurant, um, park? I'm fond of the downtown. Of oh, course. yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> Spend a lot of time down there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What about you, Ray? Yeah, it, I'm embarrassed to uh, admit that I hadn't been in Loveland in a long time. And probably the last time I was in Loveland was when the kids were a little smaller mm -hmm. and uh, we did the canoeing stuff right. or the biking and, and so forth and so on. And I was astounded coming back to Loveland and seeing the amount of pedestrian traffic in the uh, city center. Oh yeah. And, and the amount of outdoor dining uh, I have, I am really impressed. The other thing I'm impressed with, and, and Misty says the uh, the people, all of these partners jumped at the chance mm -hmm. to help create Loveland U. Wow. I mean, all we had to do was put the feelers out, and they were on it. That's so awesome. So uh, you should be real proud of that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, and I am. Like I, I've only lived here a year and a half, but I tell you what, I'm not leaving. I live right down in Loveland Station Apartments, and I, I love it. So the downtown life, I, yeah, if you're ever downtown, call me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, so, guys, definitely check out the city's website. And what's that website one more time? LovelandOH.gov. And that's where you can get the application yes. and fill that out. And July 31st is the deadline. Um, please, 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 people my age, 30-year-olds, younger, older, participate. It's really important. I mean, this community is up and coming. We're doing a lot of great things here, a lot of environmental stuff too, which I'm thrilled about. The plastic use, I mean, down at the canoe, I, they're really supporting that ideal, and I'm sure you guys are too. So everybody check out um, Loveland U, and uh, let, let's get everybody signed up. And uh, anything else you guys want to add that I missed out? Just thank you for having us. Oh, yeah, anytime. And thanks for coming, guys. And definitely check that out, and uh, we'll see you later, Loveland.